guys. This is Connor Clark with Stadium and Gale uh, here with Elijah Blades, uh, graduate transfer from Texas A&M. Uh, also with me is Harrison. We're kind of doing this thing for the first time here, uh, talking to Elijah about the whole process of how he got to Florida uh, from high school, JUCO, A&M, and now finally ending up a Gator after after so long. We all really wanted him to be at Florida coming out of high school. So, Elijah, how you doing, man? I'm doing great. Uh, you know me, just uh, live and chilling, man. Ready to get in that blue and orange. Awesome, man. Great to hear it. So, so you, you're from California. Um, it's really hard for kids to go across the country for school. Like, what was it about the first time? Like, I know it was, what, I think four, four and a half years ago that <clears throat> made you want to be a Gator. Like, in the first time. Uh, really, uh, growing up, I, I, I was a I was a big Florida fan. Um, just growing up, I used to watch Tebow. Just, just at the Tebow, just all them teams growing up. So I could name really anybody. So, and uh, I, I was even competing with everybody, telling everybody, uh, Florida's DBU, and I, I played DB too. So I was they they offered me, and uh, and just it fell into me. It was my dream school, and it felt like it was the right fit for me. Uh, I was going to come in with CJ and Marco. Uh, the game plan was to come in. We all was going to play early. So it was, it, was, it was the best fit for me. But I took a different route. <laughs> it took a long way. So, you know. Did it ever feel like weird? Like, <clears throat> I, I moved to Texas in my junior year of high school. Did it ever feel weird like being so far from the school you're playing at and, and being like rep in Florida and California and stuff like that? Uh, me, uh, I say no, not really. Uh, just because me, I went to Juco. Uh, I didn't go to Juco in California either, so I went to Arizona, right. Texas, and uh, Florida. So it's really not a big deal to me. Uh, I know what I'm here for. Uh, I'm here for the ball out uh, one year. Uh, go live out my try to live out my dream. So, uh, distance isn't really a factor in me. Uh, it, it's ball at this point. Yeah. So just like you said, the first time it wasn't really a factor, and. Obviously, now that you've gone to JUCO in Arizona, um, school in A and M, like what what makes the distance part like relatively easy? Because for some people, it's really hard to get that far away from home. Uh, for me, uh, I'll say the biggest factor is uh, just being away from home. Uh, where I come from, it just uh, it's a lot of negativity and just stuff you wouldn't want to be around. Just so like me, uh, SC, UCLA, that that really isn't like. Something that I really need for my and I like just because it's it's so close for home and just all that stuff is right there for me. I could go home twenty minutes, whereas is I go out of state and it's a flight. I mean, uh, Florida is seven hours, so it's a whole day basically. In Texas, it was three hours, so I just can't go home. So I feel like that that that's that's the biggest part for me, just getting away, just uh, growing up more, just mature maturity, everything really just. Um, you you bring all aspects of life uh, when you leave when you leave your certain city. So that that's what they did for me. For sure, man. Um, now you've been able to kind of go through the recruiting process a couple times now, going from high school, going through junior college, and then also now as a grad transfer. What is it that you've learned over the course of that time uh, that you would kind of pass on to other kids that have, that are going through the process? And what did it get any easier each time you did it? Uh, really, I, I would say, uh, what would I tell kids? Um, trust your gut, trust your, trust your feelings, uh, listen to your family. Um, I, I, I always, always have a second, second hand out there with you also. Don't just, uh, don't just think you can do it on your own. I mean, you 17, 18, you got to make that decision, but also you need somebody in there that's in your corner that's going to help you guide you to make, make the right decision. So let uh, be, uh, just be listening to another, to, to another ear and then, uh, I say yeah, it did get easier. Uh, I wasn't into I, I wasn't into more of the recruiting uh, the second and third time. Uh, I wasn't even talking to reporters like reporters hitting me up. I, I wasn't even responding and like that. So it was just a business decision at that point. I tell kids that growing up now, it's just a business decision. It ain't about the recruiting. I mean, all that social media stuff is it's good, but I mean, you 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 going to school with the ball like you just seen some of the biggest names fall out for me, and they was all social media. So. It, you're not going there. You're not going there for the for the hype. You're going there to ball. So you feel me? It's business. So do you do you think like now that's the second and third time you're going through this? Do you think like JUCO kind of like taught you the experience? Like wow, the recruiting stuff is 
the recruiting stuff is nice, but after like Juco made you realize like, yeah, like it really wasn't, it wasn't ever about the recruiting and stuff like that. Like, oh, yeah, what what else did you learn from Juco? Cause Juco seems to humble a lot of people who end up going. Uh, Duco, uh, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, Juco, Juco tough. Uh, Juco, it, it puts you in like a humble state of mind. Uh, just know, just knowing that uh, you can have it all, and then you got to go fight for it again. And 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 this next time, it's either do or die. You could you either play a ball or you doing something else. So I feel like uh, just just going through Juco, just being around the same kind of guys as you, who who sometimes they did the same thing you did, and they had offers at it then. Didn't have the grades though, so y'all in the same same predicament. So I say yeah, it humbles you. Uh, it makes you want to work harder. Uh, appreciate more things in life. So you so you a lot of people two colors, and just um, it just gives you a more insight. Of just uh, what you need to do for yourself and for your family more than uh, other people. Um. Yeah. So like when you went when you went JUCO. Um, your t- I, I I was looking it up like Arizona Western played like what was it it was the last chance you think at the time I think it was yeah East Mississippi, Mississippi. <laughs> so like I know you guys lost that game but like tell us about like the experience of like a JUCO like a big JUCO game like that and like who who else like what are there any other names like from your JUCO team that was um that like people would know or like uh the dude uh from from my JUCO team or the other team that in the, this yeah from your team. <laughs> Uh, from my team, Dom, Dom, Dominic Anderson, he went he went to Tennessee. Jameer Johnson, he went to Tennessee. He just played at Tennessee. He just transferred to uh and now Jerron uh Jerron went Jerron. He was a wide receiver. He went to Nebraska. Uh, uh, running back Greg Bell out of San San Diego State right now. He he a dog. He 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 about to go the first few rounds. He a dog. Uh, he was committed to Nebraska, but he transferred to San Diego State. Um. Uh, we got a lot of people too, though. Uh, a lot of bounce backs also from big schools. Noah Jefferson, he played at at, at USC. Uh, Khalil, he came from Michigan State. He was a bounce back. Uh, he had offers out of high school, Bama, all that type of stuff. We got a lot of dudes. Um, but I mean, it, that it was it was just a dog team. Like we got a lot of bounce backs. It was it was a big a lot of big names on that team. Yeah, so you mentioned a couple of the guys um, went to Nebraska. Um, Coach Williams was your guy out of high school at Nebraska, and then um, you you were committed to Oregon for like it felt like twenty minutes, but it was longer than that. Um, what <laughs> what what made you? But you ended up at A and M, um, anyways, instead of Oregon. But what, what was it about the relationship with Coach Williams that made you like want to go to Nebraska and want to go to Oregon? Oh, uh, just he a West Coast guy. And, uh, he from LA, so it's just it's some more of an understanding part. Uh, from that, um, he he know everything that you going through. Uh, he done been through similar situations as me, just growing up, a uh, tough neighborhood. Just just got to get it out. Just got to get out of the mud. Um, he done been through similar situations as me growing up. Um, he talk he talk like me. Dressed like me, so I mean, that that's a, it was just it was just off of that, just Cali, just um, just the home team, and just just the, I, I say also also he was just a genuine person too. Uh, so Dante always so love. Uh, he was just one of those guys that was always there for me to think and then like Nebraska. He was messing with me heavy. He got me to commit over U.S. You feel me? <laughs> and, uh, Oregon. Uh, he he was uh he was showing love heavy too, and then uh. I ended up going to A and M, but it was just it was always just a love thing for me. Then just the hometown thing for me, so I got a lot of respect from. Is is he still at Oregon, or I think he's at USC now, right? Or, yeah, USC. Okay, okay. So with you talking about coaching relationships, uh, now that you're you've made that decision to move over to Florida, what is it that Coach Mullen and his staff kind of? told you about their plan for you that made Florida seem like the right fit, not just because it grew, you grew up as Florida being your dream school and because you said Florida's <laughs> DBU, but because you want to get to the next level. Oh, yeah. Uh, what, what they what they want me to do is come in, just have a chance to come in and compete and get in that starting row for on the other side. Uh, Coach, Coach Mullen wants somebody to come to compete. Uh, just, just give them a dog on the other side. We got Kair, 
uh, Jaden down right now. Then we got a lot of young. We got a lot of, a lot of young pups. So it's time. It's time to step up. Uh, so the road just come in and come in and, and be that dog. Uh, like like y'all know. Uh, previous corners. That's that's what the, that's what the expectation is. So that's what it really is. Um. So from when you were originally committed here years ago, there's still a few guys on the team like Zach Carter. Uh, Ventrell, Malik, Gam- Gamble, and I think the only coach that's still left is uh, Coach Hova. Like, did you did any of the, did any of those guys like reach out to you this time around? Like, or or did you talk to like anyone from your class who was on the team like while you were at A and M or while you were in JUCO or stuff like that? Uh, nah, not really. Not 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 these dudes particularly. Uh, uh, not really. But uh, I used to talk to. Uh... KT, me, me and KT was me and KT was the first dude that I met on my visit. So me and KT, we would talk like here and there, like when I was in JUCO. But we don't really talk like that no more. Like a few dudes, P Ryan, uh, like like a couple older uh, older dudes. Like not not too many people on this team now, but the previous team, yeah. Um. Now, with you being final stages of your career, what made UF the right program at this time with you only having like a year left trying to get to the league what made them an easy choice for you uh just they needed they needed somebody to come in and step in now uh they needed they needed the other guy um it's it's, 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 the, it's the I feel like it's the right this season like, I've been been wanting to come here Grantham been wanting me here like he told me so um uh, I know, I know, I know Grantham. Uh, I know Mullen from from the JUCO. Uh, and honestly, I wasn't really trying to go nowhere else. So I felt like this is just the best decision for me. My draft stock wise, team wise, I feel like we got the chance to uh, do something in the SEC. Uh, that's why I came here. Now I know last year you sat out the season. Uh, due to various reasons, what have you been able to do over that time to keep yourself in shape and get yourself ready to go for the upcoming season? Uh, when I left it out, uh, I went back home. Uh, I went back home to California, then I was in Arizona also training with a DV coach, uh, and I, I just got better over time. Uh, what I wanted to focus on was more of a technique. Um, why? Because uh, my my last coach, Coach Mo, my he coached me at first, and um, that that's what he really uh, emphasized, emphasized more of the technique, every play, every down. So uh, that's what I wanted to get better over time. I got better speed wise, uh, just more flexibility. I I just got got more of a smarter person, uh, mentally on the field and off the field, um, and also just uh, a better person off, uh, on and off the field too. So. Really, just me, just getting a, just getting better, uh, just getting better overall, and just I feel like I, I feel like I turn my game up a notch, like I like a lot, like, like I don't even want to do a lot of talking, but yeah, I feel like I did turn a lot, like like my spring ball, I had a few, I had a few, like I had three practices, I, and I ended on my spring ball, and I ended up getting hurt, but I had. I had four interceptions and three, three, three dollars drops. So I was really supposed to have seven in three days. So I turned my game up a lot. So really, it just it was just injuries that have been had on me back. So I feel like I'm good now, and I'm ready to turn it up. Um, one more thing. Do you feel like taking the year off, like not taking the year off, but like opting out, kind of not for you, but for a few other people who opt out in general? Do you feel like that? kind of gave people like a refresh, like with all the stuff that was going on in the last year, like mentally, like the grind from last season was really hard. Do you think like opting, opting out, like for certain reasons could be like a good thing for some people? I mean, it could be a good and a bad thing. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, Cause <laughs> if you're not working out and you just straight, if, if you have ass and then, and you ain't doing nothing. I know. I know a few people out there this season. They just chilling, doing nothing. They just take it off just because it was, they wanted to take it off. You feel me? So then it's also the people who who, who really needed it. Who really needed it. like me. I went in a fall camp last year and then with a 50 50 percent soda. They try to have me play. You feel me? I'm I can't play at a 50 percent soda. I'd rather have another dude go and play that season for y'all. Uh, if y'all want the best. I'm gonna go and give you the best. I ain't gonna give you out of me. You feel me? So that's what I did. Took my time off, and I went to go get better. 
I got my shoulder to a hundred percent, got better at my feet, uh, transitions, everything. So if you don't take advantage of it, yeah, it's, it's a great idea, but if you didn't take advantage of it, then what, what, what are you doing? It's a good way to put it. I just got one more question for you, man. And then, uh, <laughs> we'll kind of let you get back to what you're doing. Um, just what kind of expectations do you have leading into this season? Uh, and then what are your goals as far as both individual and team? Uh, leading up to the to the season coming up, uh, my expectations is uh, I say my expectations is really just to come in, just a uh, be a team player, um, come in win games from, uh, just be that standout guy, just be that standout guy, just so everybody, just so everybody, I'm, I'm one of the best corners in this league. Um, Ball out every game, ball out every practice, be a team player, just be there to try to win for us. And then uh, my goals for the season is uh, I'm coming for that Thorpe, um, most definitely. Um, individual goals, I say, uh, I say really seven, six, seven, six interceptions. Um, that that's all that's all I want right now. Uh, I'm looking for interceptions. That, that that's what the league wants. So, and then uh, team goes. I say really just SEC SEC championship, get to the playoffs, win the Natty. Uh, just to win as a group though. You can't. You, it ain't. It ain't. It ain't individual thing. Just come together and just uh, be there for each other. That's about it. Now you mentioned Thorpe. You're gonna have another uh, another Thorpe Award watch list player on the same team as you on the opposite side of the field. You and Kai are gonna have to fight over that one a little bit. Oh, nah, we ain't nah. It ain't no fighting over. We competing <laughs> most definitely. It's just a competing thing. Uh, I like I like I told him. Uh, we we worked out once. Uh, we 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 coming. We trying to be the we trying to be the best corners in the SEC. So we trying to show that we the best duo. You feel me? So at the end of the day, it's a competing thing. Like I, I'm gonna tell them though, every day of practice we competing. It ain't just, it ain't just, it ain't just us. It's, it's, it's us in the nation. So it, it, that's what it is. I love it. Well, appreciate you for uh, hanging out with us a little bit, Elijah. Giving everybody kind of a, a little look at your process, getting to where you're at now. And I know the fan base, including myself and Harrison, are super excited that you're a Gator. Uh, glad to see you finally make it to Gainesville now and uh, look forward to seeing you play this fall, man. I got you. I appreciate y'all having me too. Appreciate it, man.